Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RB Center. Got another great buy on a Class A uh, gas motorhome for under 50 grand. Today we're going to review the 2008 Georgie Boy Pursuit. This is a smaller one than most of them. It's a 3100 DS, 32 and a half feet long. It has two slides. Get this, guys. 13,000 miles and only 112 hours on the generator. Let's look at this thing for the rain starts coming in again. Big one piece windshield, so great visibility when you're driving it. Built on a Ford F53 chassis, got the 362 horsepower Triton V10 with 5,000 pound tow capacity. Uh, you know, as far as the outside guys, everything looks good. Got a few cracks in the gold stripe for some, for some reason. Um, Got the slide toppers on both awnings. Got a manual patio awning. But like I said, that gold stripe is the only one that's cracked. So I don't know what's up, but you know, it is a, uh, it is a used motorhome, guys. In a 2008 model. So that's 20, that's what, 14 years old. Got a rear roof access ladder. Little rack right there for uh, uh, maybe bicycle or maybe a, a separate ladder, an extra ladder. It's got a 5500 on-end marquee gold 50 amp generator running right now, runs on gasoline, of course. I've got air conditioners on. Same thing on this side, guys, that gold stripe cracking. So I don't know what, it's the only one that's cracking, it's weird. Um, well, it's not going to hurt anything. It didn't hurt the last owners from using it, but just letting you know about it. So, you know, when you come in, I always try to point out the good, the bad, and the ugly about used RVs. And unfortunately, one of the bad things about used RVs is they're going to have some cosmetic imperfections. That's why they're used, and that's why they're, you know, less than half price of a brand new one. This one's about a third of a brand new one with the way the MSRP prices are shooting up on, on the brand new ones. But, this thing will do everything a brand new one will do for a lot less money. And it does have the uh, hi uh, hydraulic leveling jacks too. 3100 DS, so 32 and a half feet, or 32.7 I think exactly. Now a couple of things I've got to do to it guys. I am going to install a new carpet in here. And it's got some sun bleach spots, more than likely from the windshield, the sunlight coming into the windshield, hitting the carpet, bleaching it out over the years. This thing doesn't really have a lot of use to it. And the carpet actually looks great on the parts that weren't exposed to the sun, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it out. Uh, it's got 13,652 miles. Dash air is ice cold. No check engine lights, no warning lights. This thing will run down the road as fast as you'd want to take a vehicle this size. And, and you know, 32 and a half feet is an easy size maneuver in a Class A. I mean, compared to a lot of like 38, 40 footer pluses. Um, got the leather flex steel capstan chairs, which I'm sure that was an upgrade. I don't think these came, unless you ordered them with that, I don't think they came with the flex steel leather captain's chairs and leather sofa. But everything looks good up here, guys. Um, it does have a sleeper sofa and a table booth, so this can still sleep six people. Like I said, it's got a new carpet in it. Um, and I'm gonna put a TV in it too. Why people take TVs out of these things is just beyond me. I mean, literally, guys, all that trouble, take a TV out, what, a couple hundred bucks? And they're not even worth that if they're a used TV, so crazy. So I'm going to put you a new TV in here and mount it and everything. Don't worry about that and put new carpet in it. But blinds look good. Upholstery looks good. Um, hardwood cabinetry. It's got a microwave. Three burner stove top, oven, double basin sink. You know, not a bad kitchen area for this smaller size motorhome. 
and you can see it doesn't look like the stove eye has been used. Got a pantry right here, slide out drawers, like, all, like most of the Georgia boys have. So you can definitely put, you got five of these, so you can definitely put a lot of canned goods, dry goods in there for those of you that actually cook in your RV. Um, refrigerator, freezer now, guys, it's a little dirty. It just came in. Um, it's starting to get cool in the back. So, I know it's working. I've got to get this RV clean too because it just came in and I've only got two uh, interior cleaners right now. So, I've got them pretty, pretty in high, pretty much in high demand right now. So, very lucky to have them. Um, but it's taken a while to get to some of these to get them clean. And of course, it will be clean before you buy it and probably be clean here in the next few days. Uh, you've got glassed in shower that's what this looks like in here um hasn't bleeding bleached yellow yet that's a good sign these are the sun coming through the skylight the uv rays will bleach a white shower like a uh, bright yellow over the years here you do, i like the fact i like the fact you got the uh, vanity in the water closet so it gives you more room out here around your shower to get out and get ready and all that good stuff. Uh, bedroom's got a Queen Island East-West bed, original bed spread. Uh, got the curtains. I got a little desk, makeup, get ready area right there. You know, got closets on each side. Not bad storage for this size motorhome, guys. Some drawer space underneath it. I guess you could put a TV up there if you want to. A small one, another, another closet. Does have the carpeted headliner and you can see there's no stains in it. 116 hours on the generator. Of course, I've got it running. Air conditioners, both roof airs are ice cold. It's got dual 13,500 BTU ducted roof airs. Doing a fantastic job keeping it cooler in here. And you can see some of those sun bleach spots. Um, like I said, we're gonna replace the carpet in here. So it's gonna look really good when we do that. It's just gonna take them a few days to get to it. Um, so this 2008 Georgia Boy, guys, I've already pretty much checked it out. It's ready to go uh, besides getting the carpet to clean up and the TV in it, uh, which we'll have done here in the next few days. Uh, but if this is something you think you're interested in, guys, give us a call at 706-965-7929. Make sure it's available. I've got a great selection for those of you looking for a used Class A for under 50 grand. I've got a great selection right now. Probably more than just about anybody uh, in the RV industry right now as far as used class a's in that under 50 grand price range so go to my website check them out parkwayrvcenter.com still got more i'm going to shoot too in that price range but i want to go ahead and put this one on and um of course it's raining now um but guys you know this is something that you that's affordable it's something you can get some good financing on with approved credit and down payment and um especially in the current market this is actually a pretty affordable way to buy a motorhome right now so anyway guys this is something you think you're interested in give us a call 706-965-7929 i love that visibility that windshield and uh come out and visit with us check out our inventory you can go to our website parkwayrvcenter.com you can Come visit us in person at 5568 Battlefield Parkway in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. We're just a, pretty much a suburb of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, you know, we've been in business 53 years. We're the only dealership around that just simply lets you browse and look without going through a sales office, without being escorted by a salesperson. Price is on just about every single one out here, so you can see how much it is. It is a haggle-free firm price. We do guarantee 
the major stuff to work like the slide outs we guarantee generator refrigerator and roof air conditioners uh, to work as well and of course you can come inspect it yourself for any other additional things but obviously um, that's what I guarantee to work for the price I'm charging I've lowered my prices I've got some great deals guys um, come out visit with us you'll see what I mean great inventory great selection got about 85 or so used RVs more on the way um, so come out you'll see what all the buzz is about and you can see really quick while we've been in business for over half a century got some nice RVs got some great prices on them uh, well, I don't nickel and dime you to death like the big corporate dealers do I don't add thousands of dollars to the advertised price and dock fees and prep fees and happy camper fees and get ready fees and processing fees and uh, freight fees and all that other nonsense guys 49 nines a haggle free firm price with no extra fees besides applicable sales tax and of course guys if you are a Georgia resident you do have to pay a hundred dollar highway impact fee 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that's Georgia residents only you know always get the out the door price because the dealer can advertise any price they want but what the out the door price is is what you're actually paying for it I mean like this one for example guys if I was like rip off world all these other places I'd advertise this thing for $39.9 and charge $10,000 in fees <laughs> and you're right back to where this one's at <laughs> I mean that's a common scam guys they they advertise a lot lower price than what they're actually selling it for just to get you uh, hooked on it and then they start springing all those fees on they don't tell you about uh, one dealer is advertising a $4,000 rebate to go through their finance department. So in other words, if you come in with cash, you lose that rebate. That just What that tells me is somebody who's been in the industry for 25 plus years is they're taking you to the cleaners on the financing because there is no rebate. Banks don't give rebates to people to go through their finance department. The dealer simply knocks that off the price there's no such thing as a bank rebate to buy an rv to go through that lender what the dealers are doing is giving you that four thousand dollar rebate because they're making eight or ten thousand uh, dollars profit on the financing by marking the interest rate up so they're just giving up a little piece of the pie and they're still getting the majority of the pie and you're paying the price because you're being overcharged by financing in the tune of multiple thousands of dollars over the life of an RV loan. The way it works is, guys, see, dealers don't have to disclose the fact they're making profit on financing. They're dealing directly with the bank. You're not. You don't, you're not contacting the bank. You have no contact with them besides until you get your loan done. And then you can call, get your payoff, and then you're going to be sick. But um, <laughs> what they're doing is they're getting you approved at a lower rate than what they're signing you up for in other words they might get, be getting you approved for say a 5.99 rate they're charging you 6.99 or seven and a half or 7.99 whatever they think you'll pay and um and what's happening is the banks let the dealers keep about 80 percent of that profit and when you figure a, tw a 10 12 15 year rv loan with a jacked up rate like that, guys, that's thousands and thousands of dollars. On top of that, they're charging you all those fees that they're adding to your loan and um, and charging interest on that. It would make a profit on that as well as upsells, guys. Extended warranties, gap insurance, uh, 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 service plans, interior, exterior protection packages, all those things are not worth the paper they're written on and they tell you like okay like for instance the, the stuff they spray on the outside of your rv oh it comes with a warranty and it's only 20 more dollars a month to get it problem is what that warranty says if you read the fine print on most of them this is a scam that's been out for decades um what they're telling you is that if your rv starts fading with that product on there you bring it back to the dealer you bought it from and they'll spray more of that product on there it doesn't say that, hey, it's going to repaint your coach if it fails to keep it from fading. <laughs> but people think when they hear warranty, 
they it's going to recover it's, it, it's going to cover repainting the coach guess what guys guys it doesn't that's just a gimmick and they're charging you four or five times dealer cost for that stuff and adding it to the loan so that's how you go in for a motor home that's priced like this one for 49.9 and you wind up doing and buying all that crap and going through the finance department doing everything the dealer wants you to do and you wind up owing seventy thousand dollars on it the next day and you're still nothing you can do with it i mean it's yours i hope you like it because it's going to be years before you can afford to buy it to uh, trade it or sell it to get out from under your loan and what happens is people do this and they decide one or two years later like most people do their needs change they want a different rv guess what they're stuck in it unless they got a lot of money and savings to pay it down to what it's actually worth and this is how they get so many people and they do it multiple times a day guys and you know it gives independent dealer family owned dealers like us a bad name when it's actually the big corporate owned dealers that are doing it to everybody so just because some dealers act like that don't mean all of us do guys a lot of a lot of uh, dealers like us are family owned and operated you know we've been in business since 1968 we want you to come back to us we depend on you coming back to us you know referrals and repeat customers are bread and butter i've got families that have been buying from us for decades and some of them live hundreds and hundreds of miles away some of them live a couple thousand miles away and they always shop us first and bought several of them uh, from us and you know that's what we want guys i want to sell you an rv today but i want you to be able to trade it off or sell it in a couple years and buy another one from us so um of uh, these big corporate dealers they don't care if you ever step foot in their place again all they want to do is make as much profit as possible while you're there on what you're buying especially right now in the inventory shortage with limited inventory they're not just selling these things for cost guys uh, inventory is too hard to get if they can't make a significant profit on it they're not going to sell it to you because they can't replace them as regularly as they used to and um that sucks right now <laughs> uh trust me guys it sucks to be a dealer right now and it sucks to be a uh, person buying an rv right now i'm not gonna lie to you but all we can do is just grin and bear it and get by we're still trying to keep our prices down as low as possible um and still sell you a good product and i've got a good wide selection of used class a's right now so make sure you go to my website see what i got but they're selling quick and that backup camera does work it's just a refresh rate uh, of this camera uh, of this hd camera versus that crt monitor so don't worry about that um but i mean the picture looks good besides it may need the lenses clean on the camera in the back but guys i'm just telling you like it is be careful out there um you know come visit you know i prefer you buy from us but if you don't just be careful guys you know, it's one thing about us RVers, we try to look out for each other. I'm, you know, unlike most of these guys on YouTube and stuff, I'm actually a experienced RV owner myself who's owned several and been in this uh, hobby or lifestyle, whatever you want to call it, for 25 years. And um, I've got a lot of real world experience, not something learned from sitting at a computer or reading a factory sales brochure. So anyway, guys, make sure you smash me a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification button. I try to post videos every day. I may try to do another one today if this rain lets up. Um, if not, I'll definitely do one tomorrow. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Feel free to share on social media. Like again, again, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you know, we've been in business a long time. We're straight shooters. Tell it like it is. Uh, you know, if you, you know, we, we don't sugarcoat the truth. In other words, we tell it like it is. We're, we're the only dealership around, like I said, that allows you to simply look and browse without going through a sales office. You can look and browse at all these used RVs without having a salesperson escort you around. Very few dealers do that right now. So, uh, because here's the thing, guys. You're an adult. I'm an adult, you're an adult. I, I shouldn't have to put a gun to anybody's head or 
put my salespeople to put sales pressure on you to buy something. I want you to come to us when you're ready to buy. You know, if you just want to browse and look because you're curious about RVs, you're always welcome here, guys. Everybody's welcome. You know, you go to these corporate dealers, they don't want anybody in their lot but people that are going to buy today. And while, yeah, I do want people like that too, but everybody's welcome. I don't care if you're a month out, six months, a year, 10 years, 20 years away from buying an RV. Come out and browse and look anytime you want when we're open. You can talk to somebody. You don't have to talk to somebody. Everybody's welcome. If you're just curious about RVs, want to see what one looks like, come on down, guys. Nobody's going to pressure you to do anything. Nobody's going to try to sell you anything. We let them sell themselves. We got the price on the units. We'll answer my salespeople, answer questions about it. You can test drive it Monday through Friday if you want to. Uh, but we're, we let them sell themselves, guys. There's no need to put sales pressure on anybody trying to buy a luxury item like an RV. We have financing available with approved credit and down payment. If you want the latest information on that, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Um, we take trade-ins. We offer nationwide delivery. And if you need a quote on delivery, all we pretty much do is charge you our cost, whatever it costs us to get this motor home to you get my driver back home, pay for fuel, and pay his pay, uh, we will uh, give you a price on that, or an estimated price. So best thing to do, guys, pick up the phone, call us, 706-965-7929. Uh, uh, link in the video description below to our Class A page on our website. So make sure you check out our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. And um, come out and visit with us, guys. You'll be glad you did. We're going to save you a lot of money. We're completely, totally opposite of the big corporate RV dealers. If you've been to like Rip Off World and some of these other ones and, oh, you didn't like it, you felt like, you know, you were, they, these guys were just reading off a script, which these salespeople were, which they were. Um, come out here and visit with us, guys. We're good guys. We're good folks down here. We'll take care of you. Uh, we'll answer your questions and we won't pressure you one bit. Um, because you know so many of my guys here are rv owners like myself and you know i i like to see my customers at the campgrounds when i'm camping i like to talk to them and that has happened to me a few times uh, <laughs> i mean i've literally pulled into a campground 500 miles from home with my with my rv and parked right next to a rv with a parkway rv center sticker on it so <laughs> I mean, it's wild. It's crazy. It's a small world, but it's happened to me. So, and, uh, and I always like that, guys. It's really cool. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.